morning everyone i am so tired i can't wake up this morning i ended up having an unexpectedly late night last night i went to a party it was like the london fashion week closing party hosted by carly kloss it was a charity fundraising event but it was just so much bigger and better than i was expecting that I ended up staying quite late and I have a meeting um, this morning but it's a co-box class, so like a boxing circuit class but I could not wake up this morning. My alarm has been going off like 20 times and I just really would love to be in bed right now but totally my own fault. I should have just had an early night. But um, I need to get moving. What I'm gonna do is to give me a little bit of energy before this class because it's pretty intense. I'm going to have a protein shake blended with a banana and just some water and then I'm going to take it with me in a bottle and kind of just drink that on the way. Oh gosh, I'm so tired. Right, got this, I'm good to go, I'll be fine. Also, another thing, I have had two really intensive workouts over the past couple of days, so yesterday and the day before. Basically all on my legs, and I can, I literally could hardly get out of bed. I was like, oh my legs. So ideally today should be a rest day, but I'm going to do one of the most intense classes that I know. Oh, I'm gonna be so bad, so bad. And um, I don't know what else I've got on this morning. My brain is not functioning to tell you. So this should be fun. Somehow got through the class, <laughs> it was so hard. And a lot of it was really lower body focused, which is not what I needed, but oh well. It's all good though, isn't it? I'm just going to grab some breakfast, I think from Raw Press. I don't know if it's just a juice bar, I've never been here before. Um, but if they've got food, I'll pick up some food and take it home. Okay, I've got my breakfast all loaded up. It looks really good, so now I'm gonna run home and eat it all up. Just got back home and I'm so excited to eat my breakfast. It looks really, really good. It's been thrown around a little bit in my bag uh, and I was so tempted to eat it on the way home, but I didn't have a spoon or anything to eat it and I'm starving now. So um, yeah, I'm gonna dig into this. I also drank most of my juice on the way here. It's carrot, orange, Fennel, ginger, turmeric, and argan oil. Mm. So this is what we have got going on. We've got coconut yogurt at the bottom, then a layer of birch and muesli, then a chia seed put it Ah! Brona's calling me. One sec, let me answer this. Sorry, just had to take that phone call. So this one is chia seeds with almond milk, and then I did another layer of the birch uh, muesli on the top. And then I basically just did loads of random toppings. Oh, there's also a layer of blueberries in here and a layer of strawberries somewhere in the middle. And then on top we've got goji berries, walnuts, uh, I can't remember what else. Yeah, so that's it. I'm gonna dig into this right now. Just a little bit about what last night was. It was the end of fashion week, so it was this huge party and it was hosted by Carly Kloss. It was called the Fabulous Fun Fair. It was incredible. I didn't know much about it. I arrived thinking it would just be a bit of a drinks party to celebrate the end of fashion week. So I thought I would just go in, kind of walk around, say hello to people, network, you know, and then leave after an hour or two. I arrived and it was possibly the most incredible party I have ever been to. It was basically a fun fair inside. It was at the Roundhouse in Camden. And there was a carousel in the middle, like a full-sized carousel. Um, games kind of put on by various different brands like Dior, Guerlain, um, uh, Givenchy, Louis Vuitton. It was just incredible. And when you play the games, if you win, you will get a prize like a handbag or something, like ridiculous prizes. It was amazing. Um, but to play the games, you need tokens. And each token was about 50 to 100 pounds. You were given a, bit, a little bag of tokens before so you can play games. But you get so sucked into it that you end up um, buying these tokens and it obviously all goes to charity because that's what it was It was a fundraising event um, But I was I was there with Joe and we were just walking around and then Dynamo was just there doing a magic trick And then he ends up doing a trick on me and it was incredible like you obviously see Dynamo on TV 
but I'm always the kind of person, I try and figure it out, I'm like, okay, well, he must have done that, it must be, you know, I try and figure out how he did it. Oh, like, it's magic, I just don't understand. Basically, he asked me to write my name on this card, then he folded it up like this, and then told me to put it in my teeth, so I just went like this, hi yeah. And then while that was in my mouth, he then wrote his name on a card there. And then he did the exact same, folded it up and put it in his mouth. And then he got really close to me, so the cards touched, I think. And then he was like, okay, open your, oh no, I don't think the cards did touch. I don't think they did. I've got a video, Joe videoed it, so I'll put that clip in like either like now or um, afterwards. And he told me to take the card out. And then so I unfolded it, I'm like okay, take it out of my mouth, I unfolded the card. It's his card with his signature in my mouth, even though I had this in my mouth when he wrote it, it was like mind blown. I didn't know what to say, I was so shocked. I was, I was like, no, this did not just happen. Perfect. I had such a fun night, it was so so good. Tonight I'm going to the Brits, I haven't even told you guys. I was, woke up this morning and I was like in another world, still half asleep. But tonight I'm going to the Brits with River Island. They have kindly invited me and they've given me the most amazing outfit to wear, let me show you. So here it is, I've got this lovely silk blouse that ties up at the front and then this gorgeous red lace skirt and it's got the same pink at the bottom so oh I'm so excited to wear that and for accessories I'm wearing my favourite Alexander McQueen heels and my pop and suki bag dun 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 Naomi <laughs> there we go this bag is so cute because you can tie the straps however you like it so this one I'm going to put the straps at the end and then have Naomi like that at the front so that should look pretty cute and that's why I've got quite a lot of makeup on right now because I've done my makeup now. In about half an hour I need to go down to Larry King to his salon um, to get my hair done because look at how greasy it is. Oh, after two days of working out and not washing it. So gross. So, oh, I feel really bad for the hairdressers. They're used to it though, right? Are they? Oh no, I feel like I need to wash my hair so that it's clean before I go to the hairdressers to get it washed because I just hate like turning up like this but oh well oh well no time for that um oh can you see behind me a few things i am going skiing on saturday i'm going to verbier i have never been before it sounds amazing and i love skiing i'm not very good at it but i still love it we booked it super last minute and i realized that i haven't bought any new ski stuff since i was 18 and i mean if it was like okay then no problem like i wore all of that stuff last year and it was fine but it's a luminous pink jacket and I just don't know how I feel about wearing that for another year. So <laughs> I've bought some stuff. The jacket and the trousers haven't arrived yet and I'm going back down to Brighton tomorrow. So that could be interesting if that doesn't arrive. I might actually have to wear the pink jacket. <laughs> um, but I've bought like a, a few little bits and bobs. The first thing I got was this luggage. I only have normal suitcases so I thought I should probably get like a proper ski one. So yeah, that's great. This is by Roxy. Love the pattern. Really, really cute. Then I also got a couple of jumpers from ASOS. This is a navy um, turtleneck jumper. I love the sleeves on this. Knitted sleeves and then a ribbed kind of middle. And then this one is also from ASOS and I just thought it was really cute because of this... Um, what's the word for this? Oh, I can't remember. What do you call that when it's like... It looks like a plait, like knitted jumpers. My mind has gone blank. Please comment in the comments down below because... 
Oh, that's gonna really bug me. What's it called? It, it will come to me in a minute, but if, if not in this video, please comment down below what it's called. It's like that knitted effect, like when you say, oh, I've got this mm, jumper on. Not knitted jumper, it's called something. Oh. Anyway, whatever it's called, I got it. And it has these cold shoulders, so yeah, I thought that was pretty sweet. This jacket I am in love with. This is also from ASOS. Did pretty well at ASOS, and it's just so, so warm. It's, oh, I just really, really like it. It's faux suede, and it's got the pale pink panelling there, then like a dark minky colour. Would you call that mink? Like a grey, dark purpley colour. Um, and then on to the ski stuff. This is all that's arrived ski-wise so far, which is not great at the moment, um, if this is all that arrives on time. But there's still essentials. I've got these thermal leggings with this white um, detail and then also a top. But the top actually looks really small. But it'll have to do. There we go. I just thought the sleeves looked quite short. Maybe not. Maybe it's okay. And then these. I mean, this is just ridiculous. I saw these online and I thought they looked amazing, but they are just huge but like next level i kind of forgot that i have quite a small face and i probably need to get kids size goggles are you ready for this oh, oh. <laughs> they're bigger than my whole head this is oh my gosh <laughs> i feel like i might just take them anyway they are so big seriously who is this gonna fit <laughs> This is like a car windscreen on my face right now. At least I can see everything though. Yeah, so they might be going back unfortunately. Maybe I'll just take them for the lols. Just be like, hey, look at me on the slopes with my windscreen. <laughs> I was actually hoping to film right now because I don't have a video for Sunday, which is great. <laughs> but I was just going to do a Q&A video because I haven't done one in so long. And to be honest, they're just really quick and easy to film and I'm so rushed off my feet this week. I just haven't stopped. So I feel like that'll be a good video for Sunday. And uh, it turns out I've run out of time. Typical Naomi. It's 10 past two and my appointment is in about 20 minutes. So <laughs> I need to go and I have no idea when I'm going to film. Maybe tomorrow. What am I doing tomorrow? Nope, I'm in Brighton tomorrow. I'll figure it out. And I'm back home. I did go to the hairdressers as you can tell. I'm one of those really bad vloggers where I'm like, okay, I'm about to go to the hairdressers. Okay, I'm back now. You guys wanna see it, right? <laughs> you don't want me to just like tell you what I'm doing. I just totally forgot to be honest. Um, I feel like today's been a little bit of a mad rush, but I love my hair. Like I said, I went to Larry King's salon and we went for these kind of really gentle waves, so really natural. I love the tongue that they used. I need to find out what tongue that was because I love these waves. Um, and then at the back, we've just kind of put the back up a little bit like that. Mm, I like it. Now, I have kind of done most of like the base of my makeup, but I'm going to just go over it a little bit. Let me just show you what I've got going on over here. So this is basically a collection of stuff that I have got on my face right now. Love this blusher by YSL. That's really nice. Uh, hourglass bronzer. Love a bit of that. Oh, I need a highlighter. Um, what one shall I use? Oh, this one by Illa Mask is quite nice. Oh, no, no, I know what I'm going to use. Where is it? Um, might use my Hourglass Highlight Palette. Yeah, I'm going to go for that one. I need a little bit of powder just to block my face. I'm using the Max Factor Concealer. Um, oh, these are really exciting. These are by Urban Decay and they are gorgeous. Sorry, I'm not even filming. I'm looking at the makeup rather than through my camera. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. <laughs> So these are the Urban Decay dun 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 Moon Dust um, eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadows, and I love them. I've got them on now. They blend really, really nicely. What else have I got? Armani mascara, a little bit of eyeliner here, liquid liner by Ico. Yeah, that's Ico. Um, Illa Masca lip pencil, Bare Minerals matte lip gloss. This is amazing. You've got to try that. Oh, and I'm also going to wear eyelashes tonight. These are by Ardell. And oh, oh no, <laughs> it's sticking to me. Get off. This eyelash glue is amazing. It's in brown, like a dark colour, so it just doesn't show. It dries totally dark. And some chocolate to get me through it. This is by Conscious. This is actually in 
sauce box this month, but it's already been out, so you won't get this if you order sauce box now, but this was in the last month's box. I really excitedly just realised it's the last thing that I haven't eaten. This is the Cranberry Kiss with wild cranberries, and it's so delicious. There it is. Mmm, mmm, mmm. car is outside let me try and show you my outfit how's this gonna work so this is the outfit I'm wearing this skirt and top by River Island and then my bag pop and suki you can't see my shoes wait you might be able to there we go <laughs> I showed you them earlier they're Alexander McQueen I can show the hair properly like this now okay there we go <laughs> And makeup by me. I feel like I've gone pretty overboard with the eyes. Um, I don't really wear dark around, like dark liner around my eyes that often, but I thought, why not? So my car is outside. I'd better run. He's out there waiting for me. And I'm off to the O2. So that's where the Brits are held. And I'm hoping I can fit this camera in this tiny bag. I've got my phone in here as well and makeup and stuff. If not, I might just have to vlog on my phone. No, I'm gonna try and bring the camera. So it's half six now. I'm still in the car. I'm so late for the Brits. I've missed the red carpet. It's just been an absolute nightmare. Um, it takes like about an hour and a half at the moment to get from where I live all the way over <laughs> to the O2, but this has just been crazy. Like I'm just in standstill traffic. I'm really worried that I'm not even gonna be able to get in. Like I've spoken to the people at River Island who are taking me and they're like, it's fine, like they'll come and meet me. Um, but oh, I don't know, I've never been this late for anything, but it's just been totally out of my hands. I've just been sat in the car. I finally made it. I'm here with Venetia. Yay! I felt so stressed when I arrived. I literally thought I was going to miss the Brits, but... But you haven't. I'm here. And you look unbelievable. You look Thank you. Gorgeous. You too, Venetia. Venetia did a um, live show for Facebook, oh the Brits. So, so manic. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. This is incredible. Vanilla! 
just um just a couple of vegan vegan protein bars. Uh, vegan protein bars. No one else wants it. I don't know if you're interested. Oh my gosh! Yes. Yes. <laughs> you know, something. This is why you're my favourite person. No, Charles, they're mine. Get your nose out. Are, you are not vegan. <laughs> you are. I'm not. Can I have one? Yes, that's for you. Oh my god, thank you Get so much. Get your one. I want the pink one. You want the pink one because you're pink and cute. Well, pink and cute. Mm, cheers. This is great. This is literally all I need right now. Also, funny story. I was walking along here with Darren and Venetia taking photos and then we thought that um, Katy Perry came on so we literally like ran to our door, opened it, ran right to the front. We were like, whoa, Katy Perry! Looked around, we were like, who are these people? Realised we ran into the wrong box. So awkward. We ran out. This is a true story. And then, yeah, found our own box. Wow. I don't know where to begin. <laughs> I've had just the most ridiculous night. It's been incredible. So after the um, the awards, the Brit Awards, I then went on to an after party. It was the Warner after party. It was just insane. So, so great. Um, the, I mean, the Brit Awards were amazing. Ed Sheeran live was just so good. And then Robbie Williams ended it. Um, it was just all great. We had that box with River Island. We went to this after party and there's various different after parties after the Brits because there are so many different record labels but the one that we went to was the Warner party and I mean the party was so busy, it was packed, really great atmosphere, got a couple of drinks. Then um, I ended up going into the VIP area of, of this um, after party so it was like a VIP after party, but then I was in the VIP area of the VIP party and really casually ended up chatting to Ed Sheeran, who is lovely, the most genuine guy, um, just felt like I was talking to a friend, I spoke to him about Casper's video, he loves Casper, you need to watch that video if you haven't already. And do you know what, the only reason I am home at 2am, 10 past 2 may I add, is because my feet hurt so much. Oh, I would have stayed, honestly, I would have stayed all night. My feet, I've never felt pain like it. <laughs> Which makes me sound like I don't tolerate pain. My feet were like crushed into these shoes, which are still my favorite shoes. I don't care whether they hurt. But since like, what time did I get picked up? Half four? I probably had my shoes on at 4, realistically. So since 4pm until 2am, I've been wearing stiletto shoes that are pointed with my toes crushed. And I was having the best time, but I just couldn't stand anymore. I had to just get a car home. It is time for me to get some sleep. <laughs> I think I've got an early morning as well. Um, I didn't drink too much though. I just <laughs> felt, felt like I didn't need to drink. It was just such a good night. I'm literally gonna have Alexander McQueen shaped stiletto feet for the rest of my life after tonight. <laughs> All my toes are gonna be pointed. I'm just gonna have triangular feet. It's so worth it though. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. I mean, what a crazy vlog, right? So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you on Sunday. See you then guys. Bye.